U.S. officials are stepping in, demanding a Nicaraguan bishop and other imprisoned Catholic leaders there be released. The statement by the U.S. Department of State said leaders like Bishop Rolando Alvarez are being, quote, unjustly detained. Bishop Alvarez has been in captivity for more than 500 days, convicted last year of treason by the regime of President Daniel Ortega. Bishop Alvarez is one of more than a dozen Catholics currently facing persecution in Nicaragua. Here to tell us more about that is the national correspondent for the tablet and crux, John Lavenberg. Hi, John. Hi, Christine. So, John, tell us what kind of conditions are imprisoned Catholics like Bishop Alvarez facing there? Yeah, so all we really know about Bishop Alvarez's condition is that he's being kept in isolation. So that's all we know in the State Department, as they noted, the Nicaraguan government won't allow an independent review of the conditions he's being kept in. And they also have been publishing staged photos of him with doctors that they say only increases the concern they have about his well-being. Hmm. And ahead of the new year, the government arrested another bishop in Nicaragua, Bishop Isidoro del Carmen Mora Ortega. What can you tell us about his arrest? So according to local media reports, Bishop Mora was arrested December 20th on his way to celebrate a local confirmation. Hmm. That comes a day after he celebrated a mass where he asked parishioners to pray for Bishop Alvarez, which reportedly is what has gotten him and other priests and seminarians arrested. Ay, ay, ay. So the Catholics have been bringing attention to these arrests. The Pope did on New Year's Day. And an exiled bishop from Nicaragua, Bishop Silvio Baez, released this message. Let's listen. Pedimos que vuelvan los ojos hacia Nicaragua. No nos dejen solo. Ofrezcan su oración por nuestro pueblo oprimido y alcen su voz profética en favor de esta iglesia perseguida. Bishop Baez has been vocal about the Ortega regime over the years, including in some neighboring New Jersey dioceses, right? That's right. And last May, uh, Bishop Baez visited with Archdiocese of Newark and Diocese of Patterson Hispanic priests, where he told them to not be discouraged about their vocation despite the persecution of Catholics in Nicaragua and the hardship that just comes with being a priest in the modern days. And then Bishop Baez previously, last January, he was actually in the Diocese of Brooklyn, visiting a local church where he told parishioners to ple please pray for Bishop Alvarez and all those Catholics in Nicaragua. And we will be praying as well. John Lavenberg, national correspondent for the Tablet and Crux, thanks for being here. Thank you, Christine. You can read more about the persecution of Catholics in Nicaragua online at thetablet.org. Hi, I'm Christine Persichetti, anchor of Currents News. If you like what you saw, please hit the like button on this video. And if you want to see more content just like it, subscribe and click on the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching because we are putting your faith in the news.